the planning started last year and we purposely did that to get things done well and right previous ones they've done something great because i mean we're stepping on what they had planted you know like i said 1986 at Eckert two companies and now 13 companies 13 games you know so it's gone wider and bigger and because of the strategies we started with visitation costly visits which we paid costly visit to the minister of sports and we paid costly visit to chief of defense but we're able to meet with the air marshal you know so we're trying to bring some parasitas to collaborate with them you know so that we reach out to more stakeholders you know what the industry is nigeria as a whole is more of oil and gas you know so for us that are working in oil and gas industry we need to be healthy and for the best avenue for health is through sports because when you're sportish when you do a lot of exercises tendency of you not having all those internal illnesses or illnesses and are there and that saves a lot of cost in the companies that employed you you know because you will save the time of going to the hospital is man hours save you will save the cost of treatment in the hospital and when you know tendency of not dying at work and insurances is there so you save all a lot for being healthy and the bottom the major thing is the bottom line because when you're healthy your productivity level is very very high so this year's own is something we're taking to the high level because even the golf tournament that will be on Thursday we're inviting the past minister of sports the speaker and all that they are all golfers you know so they passed apparently the past speaker of the house and all that so when you come to the golf course it IBB golf course on Thursday after the tournament is gonna be a glamorous ceremony so everything we are putting in place is to make sure that what is it wasn't what was it can only get better so sometimes you think that cheering people is not a game it's a game you know clapping is a major game because it goes a lot helping your heart you know so anything you're doing right here is an exercise walking around to cheer people up is an exercise the journalist everybody hands on deck to cheer people up so it's a form of exercise so everybody here is a major stakeholder for us just bringing them into sports to participate bringing them into the industry so every industry now is practicing inclusion and gender uh, awareness so when you have because there are more to happen i i, I want to promise you that on the closing you will see what you've not seen before but i'll just leave it for like watch out for part two okay so bringing in the ladies even some games that we don't have ladies participating yet ladies are putting in themselves basketball is before is squarely for male for the, the men and volleyball but you see ladies in the team is a challenge so our intention is that come next no gig some of those team events like basketball volleyball will have female you know so you will see more you see more ladies coming up because that we are getting exposed and globally gender you know there's nothing like oh, a child lady child uh, girl child should be pushed to the no girl child is in the front forefront and uh, believably I'm the chairman and I'm a lady so <laughs> that caps it up I said an advice is not just a competition it's a time to bond it's a time for us to be a family it's a time for us to network it's a time for us to know the benefits of what we are involving you know because it's a benefit that touches life you know the, the, the more you exercise the longer you live and the younger you look like you look so that's the advice i would advise them not to stop after this competition not to stop after the tournament but to continue doing sports because